Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chong and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you again for being here with me. Please like and subscribe the video. I want this channel to keep growing and it's growing at an amazing rate. I want to reach more people because they know that the internet has got some really bad information than the, out there. And I've just gotten so much wonderful feedback from all of you. And I want people, other people to have the same privilege. And let's get to today's video, right? The question for today is this. Is soap bad for your anus? That is, that's a good question. <laughs> um, and I think that um, many people, you know, when they're trying to figure out what's wrong, right, you really look down to the very nitty gritty details because you don't want to miss an opportunity to find the answer, right? It's kind of like you're looking for a watch, you know, a watch that you lost and you know it's in your room somewhere and so you start turning over the mattress lifting up every piece of paper, every sock to make sure that the watch isn't there, right? And, you know, and when you've got some irritation on your bottom end or you've got some problem there, yeah, I think that whatever you're putting on your bottom end um, can really be something to, you know, to look into to find out whether that's an issue or not. And, of course, soap what is soap, right? Soap is a chemical. There are natural soaps, but really all it does is that it surrounds the particles, the dirty particles, the dirt and things like that, um, like other oils and stuff that, you know, could be making our bottom end dirty. And so we use this soap to clean up, duh, right? I'm trying to think of some really fancy way to describe soap, uh, fail. Uh, but anyway, there are so many soaps out there, but you're right in the fact that, you know, the soap ingredients, we don't even know what the heck they are, you know, and that's why a lot of people go for natural soaps or, you know, things where they can eat more easily tell what's in the ingredients. Now there's things like fragrances, there's like um, other vitamins inside soaps. I mean, there's so many different ways that people, that companies are selling soap. It's, it's so hard to figure that all out. I mean, some say they're hypoallergenic, but some people that are still get some allergic symptoms or rashes from even those kind of soaps, or they say it's moisturizing soap, but they still find problems with that. So it's like, there's no soap that fits all and it's, it, I agree. I think that soap should be looked at if it's, if your bottom end is having issues, right? Okay, but the question is still saying, you know, is soap bad for your anus? And I would say that it depends on what your bottom end looks like, okay? So what does your skin, what kind of story is your skin telling me, okay? It also, I would also look at how are you using that soap? You know, are you, you know, how much of it, or is it, be, are you rubbing it in? You know, are you just kind of gently lathering? You know, that also makes a difference. You know, are you gently lathering, or are you using a big loofah and then like scrubbing, your, scrubbing your bottom end up, like giving yourself a rug burn? And that's what I'm talking about there. Um, what kind of soap are you using? And uh, the soap I would recommend is like a Dove Hypoallergenic you know, fragrance, fragrance free soap. Um, that was a very popular one to recommend. It's, uh, it's by far, in my opinion, to be the least offending soap in the marketplace. And it's from the feedback that I've gotten, it's, it's been doing pretty well. And the, so to answer your question, the soap necessarily isn't bad for you, but it's all in context again, okay? Not everybody's skin around their bottom end is the same. And if you've got, if you know that your skin can get injured easily, you know, you get rashes easily, you get irritation very easily, 
um, you're susceptible to moisture or susceptible to dryness of your skin. All these different factors like your condition of your skin, the health of your skin makes a difference and will affect the way that you think about whether soap is helpful or not, right? Because it may not even be the soap's fault. You may have had a scratch or a cut on the skin of outside your anus and then you use a soap and you th and the soap isn't helping it. Maybe you're, you know, it's something else going on that keeps making it worse. And so it's really hard to say yes or no to whether soap is bad. I would first, what I would first want to do is understand what is your skin like, you know? You, the individual, what is your skin like? What issues are you having with your skin? And what are some good recommendations that I can um, recommend you, uh, you, know, as, you know, coach you on so that you can have success in maintaining hygiene, but also maintaining comfort in your bottom end area? Because the bottom end area gets a lot of action, right? Um, not only do we use it to go number two, but the bottom end is also moving all the time, right? So all that moving means that the skin of the anus is rubbing against each other. And if the soap is causing some allergy or some rash or irritation, then yeah, you're, you're not going to have a good time. So I think that it's not as simple as just picking a different soap, you know, maybe what you need right now is no soap, right? Um, but it's not to say that soap is bad for you it's, or bad for your skin. It just may mean that at that time, your bottom end just needed a break, you know, and that is very difficult to figure out. It takes patience and it takes some careful experimentation and you know, ruling things out one at a time, you know. And so I always tell people, don't make 10 changes at once when you're trying to figure something out. Try the best you can, if it's not an emergency, to just change one thing. And that way you understand what happened and that you can make changes for the future, right? Um, seeing a specialist like myself is definitely a good idea as well, especially if the condition is bad enough, right? It's irritating you enough and you're kind of, you know, at your wit's end or you're really concerned about what's going on with your body, especially if your symptoms are bad, that can be very concerning too, right? Um, but I think in general, trying a soap out, um, the Dove soap, the, uh, yeah, the Dove hypoallergenic fragrance-free soap would be a great one to start out with. And um, if that doesn't work out, then probably you're either your skin is just in a bad condition that it just won't tolerate any chemicals or soap, or your body just doesn't like soap. Um, but again, it just depends on you. So I hope that this video answers the question enough. It wasn't a great answer, but it really, um, I just find that every patient that comes in here and sees me in the office, it's always dependent on your story. It's you. It is you, the individual, that really dictates the plan. So I, I know people hate that. Some people might hate it, actually, because uh, it's not really good advice that you can apply to yourself. I understand. I understand. Um, it, you know, but I think that if you were to understand the fact that medicine and treatment of a person's problem it has especially with the bottom end, a lot of it has to do with behaviors and just so many different factors that come out in the consultation. And so, I hope again, I hope this helps you and uh, we'll see you on the next video with your next question. You take care. Bye-bye.